I'm Jason Ferris, creator of FresYes.com, and I've lived in Fresno my whole life. Join me as I visit some of the best food spots the 559 has to offer. This is Fresno Flavor. Welcome to another episode of Fresno Flavor. I'm super excited today to be visiting my friends at Amalgamation Brewery. If you haven't been here yet, you can find them just south of Herndon on the west side of Milburn. Let's go have a beer. Hey, Sarah. Hi, Jason. Welcome to Amalgamation. I'm so excited. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Yeah, so give me the tour, can you? Yeah, absolutely. Wow, there this is, is cool. Thank you. You guys have come a long way. I'm loving this. We have. We're, we're proud of this space. Yeah. So people can order a beer in the tap house, come out in the brewery, sit down, yep. and pull up a chair, have their beer, have some food, relax, visit, yeah. and then actually get this neat view of uh, like all the machinery that it takes to put yeah. Right, your beer into market. Yeah, that. and it's a lot of fun on the weekends if it's a brew day. People like to hang out and watch the brew process happen. Probably the, I think that's the part I'm most excited about. Yeah, me too. Like, this is like when you walk in a winery and they let you take a, you know, a pour right from the barrel. Like, this is how I feel right now. So let's say I wanted to make um, a cherry beer, like something that tastes like cherries. Do they actually put cherries in? Or is it more like the yeast just happened to come out yes. with that flavor? All of it, it depends. A lot of the more fruit flavored forward beers have that actual fruit in it, um, but some of the more like citrusy or piney flavors come from um, hops or the yeast give the beer specific flavors more like warm spices. So mm -hmm. yes to all of it. Yes to all of it, yeah. I love it. So Are you ready? I am, so what's in here? So yeah, Kevin's got our Michelada beer coming out, which will be Pretty fun. How do you feel about micheladas? The little lime is floating to the top there, but I there love you are, it. Sir, this is a big deal. So, so on camera, isn't this beautiful? <laughs> right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah? Good job, babe. Corey's so jealous right now. What's <laughs> up, Mayo? <laughs> but now I know where the best place to get beer is yeah. in town, right? Here at Amalgamation. Um, but you have food, you have a menu. I'd love to, would it's Fresno like flavor. Would you try some? Well, yeah, okay. I would. Why don't you have a seat? Um, take your michelada, I'll bring some stuff out and we'll have some fun. Let's do it. All right. This looks amazing. It is amazing. Is it? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so. That's a flatbread. Okay. It's a gyros flatbread. It's got tzatziki, uh, beef gyros, some feta, tomato. Um, next week, actually, I plan on launching a full menu of more flatbreads because that's doing really well. That's that's my particular favorite one right there. Okay. Well, I think people go behind my back and say, let's put the messiest food in front of him <laughs> so he can take a bite in front of the camera. Yeah, you chose Like, this that one, is then. like, oh my God. Well, none of them are real nice, honestly. Get in there. Don't apologize. Well, you're going to have some too. Okay. We're supposed to be enjoying together. So, right. hey, get her up. Oh. So this is like the pub food thing, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, but it's not, you know, All right. deep fried everything. It's a little All different. Right. So, uh, the sauce is delicious, right? The cucumber, um, I really taste that a lot. These are fresh tomatoes, which is nice. The meat is fantastic. What's in the, what, what kind of sauce, what, what's going on here? Uh, tzatziki. Yeah. Traditional tzatziki, yogurt, cucumber, Mint, dill. The um, mint? Yeah. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Lemon, all the good stuff. I love Mediterranean. Super fresh. Mm hmm. Try uh, I like the tandoori. Okay, I, have to, I don't know that I've had tandoori. It's, um, so typically, if you were to go to an Indian restaurant, it's a marinade that they rub on the protein and then they stick it down in the tandoori oven, like okay. super hot, super, super crazy hot pit. Um, but what we did is we just kind of thinned out the marinade a little bit so we can use it as a sauce on top of the protein. Okay. Yeah, that's a really Is good. it pretty popular? Um, I 
Actually, no, but I want to say it's because people, a lot of people aren't as familiar as they are with Well, then salsa, how do you look you know? past nachos or right. how do you look past that flatbread? But once they try the tandoori, it's definitely a hit. It's, I keep saying it's one of my favorites, but that's another one of my favorites. The spices are definitely there. I fully get the Indian food. Um, herbs. Yeah. Like, you got fresh herbs in here. Cilantro on everything. I love cilantro. Um, and then the pickled red onions we do in-house. Super easy. What I failed to mention is that Amalgamation is a family-friendly uh, place to come. So your kids are welcome here. They've got crayons, they've got games, uh, and they have spaces for them uh, to be able to, to hang out. They've got sodas and obviously a lot of delicious food that a, children, a child would eat as well. Um, and then I think it's very cool and people should know that we're pet friendly. Yes. Here yeah, at Amalgamation. Absolutely. In fact, thank you. My pleasure. Yeah. Absolute honor. So absolutely. where does somebody find Amalgamation on like online, on social media? We're active on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Yelp if you include that in social media. People have been very kind on Yelp. Awesome. So a lot of good reviews on yeah. Yelp. And then uh, so we can find your hours, your menu, yep. and, and information about any specials you're running yeah. on Facebook and on yes. Instagram. What about TikTok? Come uh, on, Sarah. Like, I could see you doing some TikToks. My 11-year-old was showing me a pretty cool dance this morning, but I'm not. So, not, so no, no TikTok just yet. And that's for everybody's benefit. <laughs> well, Thank hey. you, everybody, for joining us in another episode of Fresno Flavor. For more stories of the people, the places, the lifestyle, and the amazing food that comes out of our valley, please tune in to fresyes.com.